What's up everyone, Dabblade here with another preview guide for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. In this episode we're briefly going to go over the Raider Ride, which is a completely new element tied to your Palico in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Basically hunters and their Palicos can now ride Tell Raider monsters. These include Jagras, Kestodons, Shamos, Gastodons and the new Walg Tell Raider monster introduced with Monster Hunter World Iceborne. This is all dependent on what area you are hunting in. But what is the point of them? Well, basically they assist in helping a hunter track down a monster quickly. They will automatically take the hunter from track to track as they close in on a monster's location. But how does this all work? Well, first of all, you are given the item, the Raider Ride, by your Palico. I'm sure in the full release version of Monster Hunter World Iceborne, we'll have to do some sort of quest related to this. But in terms of the beta, you are just given it after your first hunt. Anyway, with the Raider Ride item in your inventory, simply select it and you'll call a Tell Raider monster to your side. As I said, the type of monster is dependent on what area you are hunting in. In terms of the beta, we only had the Walk in the Hoarfrost Reach and Jagras in the Ancient Forest. Anyway, after you've called it, you simply approach it and press circle to mount the monster. Now, once mounted, the monster will automatically start traveling to whatever you have your scout flies attached to. So by default, they're normally attached to whatever monster you are hunting. However, you can change this. This is really the only way you can control your mount in terms of where you want it to go. You do this by opening the wildlife map, which can be done whilst mounted, and then pressing R3 to set the destination that the Tail Raider monster will take you to. So this can be anything. It could be honey, herbs, other monsters, whatever you desire. It basically allows you to drop a pin on a point of interest and the Tail Raider will automatically start tracking it. Now, whilst riding your monster, you can still gather materials as you pass them by and perform other actions such as sharpening your weapons or using mantles. On top of that, the Raider Ride has other controls that you should be aware of. You can toggle the Raider Ride to walk and run. This is done by pressing L3. Also, while the monster is walking, should you focus the camera on a herb, an item, a point of interest, something that can be collected, it appears that the Raider Ride will approach it slowly, allowing you to collect it. Additionally, whilst your mount is walking, you can also press back or down on the left stick and it will cause your monster to stop in its tracks. So long as you're holding back, your mount will stay put until you release it, in which case it will start walking again. Additionally, you can also use your capture net whilst you're on your Raider Ride, allowing you to capture endemic life. Also, your Raider Ride will naturally avoid other small monsters. So a nice little feature there. Now, when your monster reaches its destination, you have two options in terms of dismounting. First of all, you can simply press X to dismount the monster, or if you're hunting a monster, press triangle, and this will cause your hunter to jump from the Raider Ride, performing an aerial draw attack against your monster, potentially mounting them. This can be very handy in hunts. Now on top of that as well, your Raid Riders will have status. This can be found in the Raid Rider information panel located in your Palico information. As you ride the monster around the area, they will grow tired, especially if you overuse them. If a monster is resting, you won't be able to call it back, so you'll have to try again later, after it's recovered. Overall, the Raider Ride is a great new addition to Monster Hunter World Iceborne, and will save a lot of time. It could be potentially more efficient when it comes to tracking down monsters fast, especially if you're not sure of the area or you're facing a monster for the first time. On top of that, the fact that it allows you to do other things while you're approaching a monster definitely helps when it comes to time management. As your Raider Ride is taking you to the monster, you can prep all the things you need along the way, like taking buffs, sharpening your weapon, putting on mantles, whatever. And then finally, when you do get to the monster, being able to potentially mount that monster from your Raider Ride is an incredible start to a hunt. It's going to be interesting to see how the Raider Rides work in expeditions when you're not necessarily going after a specific monster, but unfortunately that is something we're going to have to wait for the full release for. But anyway, as with all these preview guides, they will be updated when Iceborne is released in September, so don't forget to check back then, as we'll be going into more depth about the Raider Rides. And until next time, I've been Darkblade, bringing you another preview guide for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.